Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Carla from Carla's Journey. Uh, sorry I missed last week. It was it was a very hectic week. <laughs> but um, I'm back. I'm going to I'm gonna mess here on my tables. The grandkids have been playing and writing and all that stuff, but I'm going to go over last week's budget. I've got it wrote down, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this week's buz budget. Um, let's see if I got you adjusted. I will do my shout outs. Let me make sure everything's tight here. I will do my shout outs and all that. I feel like I'm just starting over because I haven't been been here since, well, this makes two weeks, but I'm not doing my cash stuffing yet. That will probably be at the end of the week. And, oh, excuse me, I'm tired. Um, but we are going to go to last week. And sadly, this month, I've been spending. And I haven't been tracking what I've spent. So you have to just bear with me on that. But this week, or last week, on income, I had 700 from my husband. I had 300 from work. Um, I had $203 that was in the back-to-bank or envelope and I just added that income to make it easier for me and then my husband put in an extra 200 so we had a total last week to work with was $1,403 I paid mission this is a credit card that I, I keep a zero balance on but I use it because it has cash back when I want to purchase something I used $225 on it, but I took all the money. Uh, I mean, I used it from different envelopes, and I just took the money out of it and put it in the bank, and I repaid it. So that was $250 for that. <clears throat> Mercury got $271. This is my husband's credit card. The regular payment is $71, and he put extra $200 on it because he had ordered a dozer part. And he paid for that. We had our life insurance was 125. Our cell phone was 238. Uh, LVNV was 65, and PNC was 85. That total was a thousand and nine dollars, and that left me 394. On down here. Gas, household, and stocking up. I put two hundred dollars in that envelope. I put 50 in gas, 20 in my personal envelope, 20 in dining out, and 10 in miscellaneous, and that brought that total to 300 with 94 left over. Up here for the sinking funds, church got 25, my car or car fund got 25, flowers got 10, dental got 10, emergency got $3. Birthdays got three dollars. My grandkids was sixteen dollars. That's two dollars each. And my mom's envelope got two dollars, and that brought that to ninety-four dollars with a zero-based budget. So that was last week, and I know it was April something. I'll just put week two. So this week. I'm going to use today's date, which I haven't, I don't have the actual money yet, but I'm, I pretty well know what, what it is. Okay. For income, we're going to have my husband's 800. Um. I've got this wrote down different, but it's all going to be from me. Um, 150, 
185 and 10. I don't really know why I didn't add that all together, but that is going to be 800 plus 150 plus 185 plus 10 equals $1,145. Um, on my mission credit card, I've been spending on that again. So I'm paying that off, which uh, 74 of this, somewhere in here, uh, was we went to church in Ohio Saturday and spent the night. So we paid for a hotel room and uh, that's included in this. So 179.05 is what I'm paying. That'll pay me off on that. Amazon, I need to pay 135. 91, which I need to just round these up to the dollars, but State Farm. One eighty six. Now, Amazon and Mission, you guys don't even see that like on my debt update because I keep those at a zero balance. I just use them. I just use them, uh, the mission for the cash back, the Amazon, I just used it and I put the cash back in there. I mean, it's not anything that I'm letting interest draw on or anything like that. So I basically keep a zero balance. Um, the IRS payment is $100 this week. Our state taxes is 50 and I'm putting, I'm just going to put it on the bills over here. For May mortgage, I'm putting 300 back on that. So 179.05 plus 135.91 plus 186.00 plus 100 plus 50 plus 300. That is $950.96 from $11.45. That is going to give me $194.04 left over. Um, groceries, household, and my stockpile budget. Is going to get a hundred dollars personal this week is getting none I need to learn to control spending I'm having a hard time of that this month I don't know why but hopefully May will get right back into paying 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 gas I need to put 50 in there uh, been working so I've used a lot of gas money I need to build that back up um, dining out is getting zero I've done enough of that miscellaneous is getting zero so this totals up in my envelopes to $150 and that leaves me with $44.04 left over so over here in my sinking funds, not much is getting stuffed this week. Church is getting, it's 25. Mom is getting her two. And my eight grandkids are getting their $2 each. And that is 16. So that equals to... $43 and that leaves me with a dollar and four cents left over and I will just leave that in the bank I'll just put buffer 
dollar four cents with a zero left over. So I know this is a very quick video, but it's been a long day. I've still got dishes to do, floors to go over with the mop, and baby Clay's doing good. He's home. He is on his oxygen, but he's doing really good with that. He wants to eat all the time. He goes back. We, uh, I'm going with him tomorrow to take him back. He has a weight check, and um, we'll see. See how soon he can come off the oxygen. It's all up to him when his body adjusts to it. Um, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm all out of sorts where I haven't done this, but um, we are getting close to 500 subscribers. I think we're like 24 away. So when we get to 500, I am going to give away a binder and a cash stuffing wallet. The binder is new. The wallet is not. I carried it for just maybe a week, maybe two weeks. I just, it wasn't the kind that I, I liked. But uh, when I reach that, I will. Uh do a video and we do, we'll figure out how to give that away. I have been working on, also it's di different from budgeting, but it's, it's still part of my lifestyle. I've been working on filming a little bit of canning, um, and I'm going to try and get some videos of that nature out because that's stuff I like to do. And it, it, it does save you money, and it helps you stock up, and I am a stock up person. I am, I don't know, I guess you could say a prepper. I do have my stock, and I continue, and that is a very big priority with me. But on my shout outs this week, I want to give a shout out. I don't have my iPad in here, so I can't. Uh, bring their page up and show you, but the first shout out goes to my budgeting corner. I don't think I don't think I've given my shout out yet, but my budgeting corner, hot mess budgets, budget with Sandy, greenhouse homestead. And I'll do one more is Tika, T-I-K-A, got a budget. I will link these um, in the description box. I feel like this is just the boringest video ever, guys. But this is, this is how it is for this week. I plan to start paying more on our next bills. I just, I've been a little spendy, which the stuff I bought from Amazon, I got myself a new Dutch oven and an, a handheld vacuum sealer for canning jars. And I got a new uh, vacuum sealer, not a food saver brand, but a vacuum sealer. Cause mine, that I had a boat seal and everything. So that I will justify that is stuff that I could have lived without, but I really, really wanted it. And these other things, honestly, I can't even remember what, right off of my head, but I hope you guys have had a good week and I hope you had a good week last week. I'm sorry. I missed everybody. I try to, I'm trying to watch some videos. I'm doing a, a lot of the uh, homesteading prepper videos too. Oh, excuse me, I sneezed. So I kind of do the budget and those videos just all mixed together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Give the ones I gave a shout out to. Go check their videos, their channels out. 
like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate every, every single one of you. Um, I pray that you all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I am going to close this out and try and get some of my night work done before I go to bed. And I hope you guys just have a wonderful rest of the week. Be kind to everybody. Just help everybody out. We're all struggling. We all have our ups and downs. So just be kind to everybody and help everybody along the way. I love you all. God loves you all. And I will see you next time. Bye.